We have found quite a few spiders today, and this is no exception on the end of this branch. What you're looking at over there is one of my favorite spiders. Let's see if we can see just busy peeping out the top. Have you seen my finger? This is a jumping spider, or the Salticids. And I like them because they've just got so much character. Very similar to a praying mantis, I suppose. And the fact that they're always busy doing something. And they've got quite, ex you know, for, uh, for an insect, they've got a face with quite a lot of expression on it. Now, what this particular spider is doing is hunting for flies. We're on a game path. And I think as animals are moving to and from this game path, they are releasing, leaving their flies on the leaves here. And this jumping spider is in just a prime position to hunt for those flies. Just look at the colors on them. Uh, this is the only insect that I've ever seen, barring some caterpillars, that are able to produce the color gold, or at least able to reflect the color gold with a whole mixture of different things. And I think from my angle, I'm just going to turn this and see if from my angle I can see some gold on this spider. No? Just on the legs a little bit. Interesting, eh? You see the spider's busy turning around now. I'm going to leave, let this leaf go. I have this shake that develops when I'm trying not to shake, and I probably, it's like looking at a leaf in a storm there. Now that the wind has stopped, it's probably easier for me to just leave the leaf. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely easier. <laughs> There you go, looking at you now. You can see those expressive faces of those two eyes, those two binocular eyes. The reason why they have those two simple eyes on the front of their face, light collecting, they see a very clear picture, but those two eyes are next to each other, one slightly higher and further back than the other one, and it is able to judge distance that way. And they do that because these spiders can jump at prey. Incredibly clever little spiders, they have brains that fill almost the entire head part of their body, that front cephalothorax area, and are able to learn. So they will, they, they're able to learn how to hunt the insect that is predominant in its area. Very similar to how lions do it, I suppose. Lions will also learn how to hunt the prey species that is most common in that area. And in this particular case, the spider may have learned how to hunt for flies. A short little trip there. Where are you going? I just love these. So if it's flies or if it's ants or if it's other spiders even, these spiders learn how to hunt what is best. Let's see what it does now. See if it jumps to the next leaf. Now they've got the most amazing way of jumping. They don't jump by contracting muscles like you and I would. They jump by pumping fluid into their back legs through a massive pump-like structure. So their whole body doesn't have a bone inside of it. It's almost hollow. It has these channels though, and in those channels they pump a substance called hemolymph. And they can do it with such force into their legs that they can jump many times their own body length, in actual fact. And that's what these spiders do. Where are you going? No? Got scared? It's actually streaming out silk. So now the silk so what the spider is doing is incredible. So what the spider is doing is streaming out silk into the breeze. I actually think that it wants to travel. Or it's waiting for a branch to catch the silk. This silk now must be easily a couple of yards long now. Let me see if I can follow it. I think that the silk is actually wanting, the spider is wanting to leave this bush. Doesn't feel like walking all the way down this tree, walking across the next one. So what it's doing, streaming out silk, the breeze will let that silk catch onto another tree. And then that will be the zip line that the spider uses to the next bush. I think that's absolutely incredible. I've very, very rarely seen that. Okay, now the breeze is blowing the silk out in this arc almost all the way to where you're standing at the moment. See here. Yes, that's really epic. Let me see if I can help the spider along as we can see. Attach it. No, it's blown away. Right, we're going to stay. I'm actually going to see if the spider does do what I'm just predicting over there. 